Signs of no coolant in the radiator, but the reservoir is full. 1. Engine check light. If the radiator has no coolant, there will be a high increase in the engine's temperature. This will turn the engine check light on so that the driver will know that there is an issue. You must track and fix the root cause to prevent a major engine damage. 2. Smoke from the engine. If there is a release of white smoke from the exhaust of your vehicle, it may mean that the radiator's coolant level is very low and should be refilled. However, if you see the release of white smoke from the exhaust, the damage is already done. So, don't wait until you see this sign before taking necessary actions. 3. Damaged radiator cap. The radiator cap is responsible for making sure the coolant do not escape and keeping it at the right pressure. If you have a damaged radiator cap, it will cause coolant leak, leading to a low coolant level. A damaged radiator cap can also break the hoses by building high pressure in them, creating another channel for the escape of coolant. A faulty radiator cap can cause the coolant reservoir to overflow and overheat the vehicle's engine system. 4. Torn Radiator Hose The radiator hoses are always transporting hot fluid. As a result, the hoses will eventually wear out and tear. Especially if your vehicle is used for daily long trips. The hoses will likely wear out fast. The hoses might even explode causing coolant to flow out from it easily. 5. Bad radiator or water pump. The radiator helps to cool the heated coolant as it passes through its metal tubes, preventing engine overheat. The water pump circulates coolant to other engine parts. It is responsible for the easy flow of coolant through the radiator and engine block. If the component becomes faulty, it'll cause a severe leak. 6. Leakage of coolant. Another common sign that shows no coolant in the radiator is coolant leaks from the car. It can be dropping from the radiator or the hoses. The radiator's coolant level becomes low if it has been punctured. This will cause the engine to overheat because no coolant absorbs its temperature. 7. Discoloration of coolant. The lack or shortage of coolant in the radiator can cause the coolant to change in color. The engine coolant is mostly green, yellow, or pink. This color can change to a thick brown-like color if there is contamination. This can obstruct the flow, and it can also clog the radiator. 8. Faulty Head Gasket A damaged head gasket will turn the engine check light on. The head gasket is responsible for sealing the space between the cylinder and the engine block. It also facilitates the smooth flow of oil and coolant. If the head gasket blows, it will allow coolant to enter and burn in the combustion chambers. 9. Damaged Intake Manifold Gasket This component is located on top of the engine. The intake manifold provides fuel and air stream to the combustion chamber. A gasket is found inside the intake manifold, where it merges with the engine. This gasket can get damaged, leading to leakage of coolant in your vehicle. 10. Engine will begin to overheat. It is a very common sign that reflects that something is wrong with the cooling system. It can be due to a faulty radiator or a bad thermostat or even other related issues. This problem can drastically reduce the functionality of the vehicle due to engine poor performance. Overheating the engine will produce smoke and it might lead to a sudden breakdown of the vehicle. 11. Heater may be malfunctioning. When the heater in the car does not function, it is a sign that there might not be coolant in the radiator. The heater depends on the hot fluid that flows through the core. As the hot fluid flows, it releases hot air that blows into the car. 12. Persistent odor. You might constantly perceive a sweet smell when you are around or inside your car. The coolant smell is noted as a sweet smell. Therefore, perceiving this type of smell can signify that there might be a leakage of coolant under your car. It's best to investigate further to be sure of the cause.